Frank Summer and her mother were at the best place around. In the sky, smoke on the water. No idea what the name of this program is, but you're watching it. Backstage. All you ever want. Backstage. All you ever need. Backstage. Your dreams will be fulfilled once you are there. You'll never want to leave. You want to sell your ass for that backstage pass. Just for the invited. Hi darlings, uh, here we are in another car video and this time we're going to the train station to go to Budapest. I'm going to have a reading show there and promotion and press and whatever for the Hungarian version um, which is also out and this time I am accompanied by oh God, this, this, this young gentleman. Hello Benjamin, what are you expecting? A very good show, obviously. Back to you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, I'm looking forward um, and um, it's funny that there is a Hungarian version. And so we will keep you posted from our Budapest adventure. Hello darlings, we are here in the train to Budapest um, tomorrow. Uh, Saturday I'm gonna have a reading show for the first time English-Hungarian. This would be nice because the Hungarian edition of my book is now out and also sells uh, nicely. Um, very good. And to say, you know, because people in, from the Spanish edition were writing to me, uh, you know, when the Spanish edition, this is part of the local publishers in Spain, in France, etc. We have German, we have English, we have Italian and we have Hungary because they were fast. Uh, the others need some more time. Uh, you get updates on my website, uh, buddhistworld.com, and I say, looking forward to uh, Budapest. Don't forget the history of Budapest and Queen, 1986, where I was privileged to film them in the NEP Stadium in Budapest, which was the first concert in the Eastern world from a big international rock star band. Backstage. All you ever want. Backstage. All you ever need. Backstage. Your dreams 
will be fulfilled once you are there. You'll never want to leave. Backstage, it's where you get the action. Backstage, I'm bringing you to your knees. Backstage, you go for satisfaction. You can do what the hell you please. Leaving a lot of good ones behind. And a real good bass player and a fantastic drummer like Roger. There's one and one wasn't two, but it was three. Now make one and one and one and one. It's not four, it's, I don't know, a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I was making an interview with Diane Mosley, the. Yeah, I know that. And, and she said that at the video shootings, Freddie was always had to hold back because he said he had so many ideas which were not always makeable. So can you say us an example of Oh people? yes, oh yes, well, Freddy would, uh, would come and, uh, and say we have to shoot this video break through on, the, on a traveling train. And uh, Jim Beach was almost uh, fainting and uh, having a heart attack and John Deacon said I will never go on the train, never, never. No insurance company would, would insure them if one falls off. And, um, but we did it. Or when he, uh, you know, when I, I'm going slightly mad, uh, I was preparing the next shot with the gorilla, and suddenly I hit, come out, come out, Freddy's on the big crane for the camera and wants it to be filmed. So Freddy was climbing up the big crane in the, in, in the video. So Freddy was always good for surprises. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was quite a lot of videos we did together, and then I already knew what could expect, so I, I, I left more days for preparation, for last moment ideas. And Diane Mosley was a very, very important part. Yeah? Um, she and he, um, I have still a few sketches um, um, of, of things. She, uh, he, he trusted her a lot and they liked each other a lot. And um, I, I remember how Diane once, on the tears, told me that the last time she saw him, uh, she was at Garden Lodge and when she left, Freddy said to her, thank you for spending an evening with an old man. She told me that as well. And last, last question, I'm making videos as well, video, music videos, and I have some artists who I'm working with for years now. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel if you saw a video made not by you for Queen? Were you uh, sad or, or angry? Or there anything? wasn't a lot <laughs> not made by me. <laughs> but there was always the work of David Mallet, who I door and he's a great director in different ways and also a few others also Tim Pope did good stuff. Well, I basically felt um, all those years as part of the Queen family and I was not so egocentric to say I want to do everyone of course every, everyone uh, Freddy was very often you know calling me uh, but um, I didn't feel I didn't feel any jealousness or whatever. I think, you know, it, it, once I have had done the first Queen video, One Vision, I was already happy. I thought I have a, a little note in the rock history, Rudy Dolezal directed an official Queen video, but then it um, more than 30 would follow. So, I am very thankful to, to Freddy and Queen, to all of them, because they showed me very early on in my career that I can I can, I can cope and uh, I can also work in the international field with all the UK directors and with the Americans. And when then the awards came in, then I saw, oh, oh my God, my work is really possible to... Uh, I was once under the last 10 uh, documentaries for an Oscar, so it's possible, you know? It's just uh, not every week or whatever. And Freddie was part of that, showing me to look bigger, you know? The bigger the better is not only a fun quote of him, but um, he was never shy of, uh, and always some things that were that we did for the first time, he loved. You know, with, with Queen, with myself, did something technically or contact that was never done before. He was all for it. Thank you, Fred. Hello darlings, I'm here in Budapest and um, here to present my, uh, the Hungarian edition of my book, My Friend Freddy, and we have a reading. I'm too shy to ask, uh, how do you like it? Rudy, Rudy, so you cannot give me enough applause tonight. <laughs>
Egyébként, ha rendező vagyok, aki ugye állandóan kis van a sötét helyiségben üdögél és vág, meg meg videókkal szórakozik, és igazából amikor egy jó vágás, hogy valamit létre azok, senki nem tapsol nekem, úgyhogy nyugodtan tapsolja. Nagyjából három éves időszakot vett igény, amíg megírtam, vagy bizonyos részét a könyvnek, viszont volt egy csomó, hogy percet megírtam. Or maybe ten minutes. Vagy mondjuk tíz. This is one of those. Ez az egyik olyan. Thank you, Freddy. <coughs> Thank you, Freddy. It was a pain I cannot describe. The news of Freddy's death did not instantly penetrate my consciousness. It wasn't a phone call from his manager, Jim Beach. It wasn't his busy voice. It wasn't the dreadful words. Freddy is gone. Freddy is dead. Köszönöm, Freddy. A fájdalom leírhatatlan volt. Freddy halálhíre nem jutott el azonnal a tudatomig. Akkor nem, amikor felhívott a menedzsere Jim Beach. Nem fogtam fel, amit a komor hangján mondott nekem. A rettegett szavakat. Freddy elment. Freddy meghalt. The moment came days later. I was sitting in front of a white blank sheet of paper at my desk in my thinking room, as I called it in my house near Vienna. A Rolling Stone music, Rolling Stones, the music paper has asked me to write an obituary for Freddy, an article. You have to do it, Dorezar, the editor in chief said. Who else? You knew him well. Na, bukkal később jöttem csak a pillanat. Az irasztalnál ültem egy üres papírlap előtt a gondolkodó szobámban, ausztriai házamban. Egy német zenei magazin megkért, hogy írjak megemlékezést felülről. Neked kell megírnod, de hol egyszer mondták, ki más tudné még érni Németországban, hogy jobban, annyira jól ismerted őt. I had agreed without thinking much about it. Sure, I had replied, writing down the deadline on a napkin. That was my highly sophisticated deadline system back then. Napkins and little bit of papers and notes of all kinds, which I then put in different color transfer envelopes, each color having a, its own meeting. This one was red. Red for very, very important. Gentlemen, darlings, friends, and followers around the world. Uh, this is a young lady. Your name is Diana. Diana. Uh, and your second name, can you say it? Lenart. Okay. You are living in Budapest. Yes. Okay. This lady has, when I started my pre-order campaign, was one of the first who ordered this book in English and received it. Yeah? So, so and now she comes again <laughs> with the same book, <laughs> and I put her something in the back saying for Diana, thank you for being a loyal fan and of being one of the first pre-orders of this book, Budapest, 7th of April. Congratulations and applause! Thank you. 
Das ist ein Gut, thank you. goes on backstage oh come on let me take you by the hand ow Rudy are you ready ladies and gentlemen the way I see it Barry this should be a very dynamite show you know I have no idea what the name of this program is but you're watching it backstage All you ever want Backstage All you ever need Backstage Your dreams will be fulfilled once you are there You'll never want to leave You want to sell your ass For that backstage pass Backstage It's just for the invited Once you were there, you never want to leave.